Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today on the channel we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I used to do this a fair bit, but we've uh, kind of slowed down on the buying and selling of things. So today we're picking up a mystery car. It's obviously the, my favourite thing in the world, an R31. Um, so we're picking up an R31, but we have no idea what it is. No idea what colour. We know it's a Pintara, we know it's a rear wheel drive. Um, I don't know the condition but I'm paying $100 for it and a bottle of uh, bottle of bourbon. So we're heading up to Blanchetown now. We've got the trailer on the back, um, cruising along, coffee in. We'll update you once we're there. I'm actually buying off my TAFE lecturer. So my TAFE lecturer, we'll chat about it one day. Um, and pretty well, he just mentioned that he had one because I was talking about my cars and what I do. Um, and he mentions, like, yeah, I've got one of those. I was like, oh, well, let me know when you want, want to get rid of it. I'll come up to the block and grab it. So fast forward about a couple of months we're here we're going up there we're about i don't know i think we're about 40 minutes out so we'll update you once we're there and we'll show you the bus <laughs> that's what i mean i don't know what to expect all right so we're following uh i don't know i'm not gonna say his name but we're following uh, my tafe lecturer through his property trailer on the back i don't know what to expect this car could have every single panel smashed out of it and i would like you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I don't know until I'm here. I haven't seen photos. I don't know the color. All I know is that it's a Pintara. Exciting stuff. Hey, Joey. Yeah. What a beautiful property. Yes, it is. Oh, Giles. It smashed up and that, but fuck it. Dibs the grill. What do you mean? It's not that bad, dude. It's got 63 painted on it. That's not my favourite number, but you know what? We'll, we'll uh, <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> Let's have a gandy. All right. The white Pintara. So the old girl was used as a bit of a paddock car, but it's actually cleaner than I was anticipating. When someone says a paddock car, anticipate it to look like these things. Smashed tail light, a little bit of surface rust and stuff, but I got some CA wheels with all the hubcaps. Rear bar that's been tech screwed on, of course. Some series one tail lights. Yeah, it's definitely not the cleanest thing in the world. But there's a VL wagon out here we're gonna have a look at. Commodore Executive. Bro, I'm Oh, doing today or what? Bro, I will come back and get this car. Yeah. Yeah, but what are the chances that what are the chances there's a bullet yeah this would suck to get yeah. on the trailer? Bro, it's a oh no it's not. Oh I wanted this. Like door I think that's like the one behind you, Nick. Why is everyone looking at that and not this photo? Yeah, look at this photo, Evan. I've definitely seen Nick driving in this. You'd, you'd remind, you'd remind me of the guy off Fat Pizza or whatever it's called. Oh, yes, yeah. bro. Yalla, yalla, don't yeah. sit in there, bro. You'll get fucking sure. something. How cool is this? Abandoned VL. This is cool. I'm going to get a thumbnail. I'm clickbaiting everybody. Saying, we found a VL. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lad. So this thing has been shot the fork out of. Look at this thing. So this thing actually runs and drives. That's wicked.
I should have taken a vote, photo of it before, but trust me, this was like caked full of just dirt, mud, dust. 30 second spray off. Looks like a mint car now. <laughs> Brand new. Brand new. But we'll, um, we'll take this home. We're going to try and put a battery on it. I definitely didn't clean it. I definitely uh, made it dirtier by spraying all the leaves up. But oh well. We'll, uh, we'll take it home. I don't know what I want to do with it. It should be a bit of fun. All right, first try. Just see if the key turns. We've been pranked by the prank patrol. That's it. Uh, well, we don't have to worry about it starting. Prank, it? It's turned. Let's just get a hammer on the starter. No, it was turned. <laughs> yeah, the R B No Thirty. That's fucked. No. Oh, it's actually got. Oh, it's gone all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that out. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Yo, it's gone over this. Even. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking weird. That's yeah, it goes. In, it comes out the back. No shit. Yeah, so what it's gone. The fuck? So it's gone that's through the bottom of there, ridiculous. up through that, <laughs> and out the back of the airbox. What's in the box? We're gonna break it. it doesn't matter. Oh, it's hundred dollars. Oh, what is that? I told you this shit. Oh, toilet paper. I need that. Bible, holy shit. Is it a Bible? Bro, what is this? Oh, I'll go to the page where she was reading. Dude, I got some fucking, number? I got some fucking bandages. Oh, I got a fucking straight directory. <gasps> Rego paper. Yes, lad. I'm 15. 1988. 88. White missing. Is that, that's the Rego plate, isn't it? Oh, you mean? Oh, yeah, no shit. So, it's, oh, you can actually hand control and everything. Yeah. 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 Fuck, it looks good, eh? That's not cool. I had a. Go again. Fuck, bro. That can't be good for your car, eh? That sounds just like my car. That can't be good for your car. Can you tone it down like so it doesn't hit Limmy so hard? Charles, this is what my car sounds So it's like more like dun 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 dun. That's tough. Boy, that sounds chronic. Go again. And then you just need a big fuck off turbo and light the whole street up. To be fair though, that's got to stop. Alrighty guys, so a bit of an update, day later, I put this up for sale last night um, for partying out and the selling as a whole. Today we've got someone coming down and looking at the car, he's bringing the trailer, some cash for me. Um, and yeah, we've uh, also bought an engine stand because I've got someone dropping off an RB30, uh, just a complete motor, no trans, nothing like that. So we're just going to quickly build this engine crane before he gets here and then we can take it straight off the ute, put it straight on the engine crane into the shed. So let's do that. I can't stop that. It's annoying man. All right, so we're up. Uh, we're going up a pretty decent hill, Target Hill Road in Greenwich. If anyone knows that, with a trailer in the old Prado with some 33s, it's definitely no fucking. It's definitely, it's definitely no rocket ship. But so we um, we've made a bit of progress. As you would have just seen, I bought an RB30, so we set up a little stand. Um, we set up a little stand, got that thing. That was a bit of a pain in the ass because we had to um, we had to buy some. We didn't have bell housing bolts long enough to suit the the motor, like the back of the motor for the stand. So we had to go to Bunnings. Shout out to Leon. Bit of a hand today, um, putting that putting that motor on that stand. We had to buy some threaded rod. He had some really really good ideas. So um, yeah, we had to um, use some threaded rod nuts on each side, cut them to length, and then obviously into the block, and then nut. But yeah, I'll show you a little bit more about that after. Uh, but for now, we're about to drop. We have a buyer. So for now, we have a buyer on the uh, on the Pintara, which is good. So I put it up because it wasn't really what I wanted. Ideally, buying this car, I wanted to get um, a shell out of it. I wanted to have a shell, like a stored shell, which what well, the plan was. But 
just after seeing the con overall condition of her, like I just can't see myself driving back up to Blanchetown to, you know, store it because it's just not worth me storing it. So anyway, we're pulling up to the guy's house now. We're dropping it off. And um, yeah, we'll uh, update you once the car's gone. It's probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter video and you know, pretty average lighting, but I'll um, I'll chat to you once we're, we're, we're back in front of the camera. All right, back in front of the camera again. Bit of an update. The Pintara is sold. Um, sold it to a young dude. He's got a, uses a bit of a project car. Um, he's a mechanic, so he'll uh, work his way around that car and get cleaned up and get it on the road and whatnot. So that's his plan anyway. But for now, um, moving on, like I said, we bought the RB30. All righty. So what you're looking at here is a Series 2 RB30 from a Skyline. As you see, Nissan rocket cover because it came out of a Nissan. I was lucky enough um, to pick this up for a pretty good price considering the current prices on these. Um, especially with all like the alternator and the Dizzy and, um, you know, the coil, AC condenser. Obviously, everything's pretty dirty and grubby at the moment. But um, overall, it's relatively clean. It came out of a running running driving car, which was good. They pulled it out and scrapped the car because the car was full of rust. It's heaps to learn about these things still. Can't wait to pull it apart and uh, do some do some learning in the future. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more R31 content. Um, and, yeah, there's plenty coming up on the channel. So keep, uh, keep your eye out for new videos. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And we'll see you in the next one.